Bella Bean is four months old. My name is Marissa and that was Bela. Oh, we need to go potty. As I was saying, good morning. My name is Marissa and that was Bela. And welcome to a day in the life of my four month old golden retriever puppy. She's sitting pretty in her bed. And that means she's ready for breakfast. Are you ready to eat? Are you hungry? If you've been around for a while, I did these monthly pup dates with my first puppy, Freya. She's an Australian Shepherd. I will link like her playlist down below. You can watch all of her monthly pup dates, but they're gonna follow in the same suit where we'll do these monthly, do little Q and A's and just to like show you how we train, what a normal day looks like for us, what we're working on, the highs, the lows, everything from owning a golden retriever puppy. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss out on future monthly pup dates. Now let's get her breakfast. Sit. Good girl. I used to do this with Freya and I do the same thing with Bela, but in the morning to get her breakfast, we're gonna go on a walk and I have her morning food portion, which is a cup inside of this treat pouch that I'm going to wear. Uh-uh-uh. Out. Good girl. So that way I can reward her for good behaviors, we can work on heal, we can do all the good fun things. And then typically whatever I don't use on the walk, and sometimes I use them all, but if I don't use it all on the walk, then we come home and we will hand feed and do some training and stuff, which we will do because I will show you guys some of the tricks that she knows and all of that kind of stuff at four months old. But this is one of my favorite like basic treat pouches. I have a lot of fun cute ones that look like purses or that's purple or whatever. I love this one. I got it off of Amazon. I will link it down below. It holds poo bags. It has like like a mesh baggy part, a zipper baggy part, so you can carry, I put my phone and my keys in here whenever we go on walks and everything, so I don't have to carry a separate purse or have pockets or whatever. Really like this one. But she's sitting patiently in her big sissy's bed, <laughs> ready to go on her walk to get some food. Can you sit? Good girl. Okay, good. Good girl. Something different that I'm doing with Bela than I did with Freya is teaching Bela to heal on this side of me. Freya goes on this side, but I did that on purpose so that way I would eventually be able to walk them together and Bela would heal on my right and Freya on my left. So if you're curious of why she's healing on that side, that is why. Come here. Good girl. Yes. At this age on our walks, we're really just working on like heal and you know, not eating things that she finds on the ground. Good girl. Because she does want to throw everything into her mouth. 
None have come by yet, but we also work on like sitting whenever people or other dogs come by. Good girl. And we've also been working at sitting right here. We sit. Good girl. Good girl. So that way we can wait to cross the street. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Bella. Touch. There we go. Good girl. Okay. Come in. I try to go in new directions all the time just to keep it fun and interesting, keep her engaged, keep her. Hey, no. Come on. Looking at me, obviously it's hard because she's so young. Good girl. Yes, and if I stop, she stops. We're just practicing good habits. I'm not really asking her to do anything at this point. Sometimes I'll ask for a sit, but I really just want her practicing making good decisions and good choices, and then realizing that for those good decisions and good choices, she gets rewarded. Good girl. Yes. Okay, let's cross. Come in. Good girl, yes. So like this entire walk, I haven't been asking her to be in a heel. She's just choosing to be. There are times that she'll pull and to diminish that, even at a young age, I stop moving when she pulls. And there's still a lot of tension on my leash here that I just have wrapped around my waist, so ignore that, because she is fixated on something. And I could redirect her behavior, yes. And sometimes I do if it lasts a little bit too long, but I try to give her time to look at something, yes. And then come back to me. And we typically do about a 30 minute walk in the mornings. So we're all done. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yes. Okay. Touch. Yes. Good girl. I needed my morning coffee before we actually hop into the day. With what we have left from today's walk, we have a good amount. We're gonna do some training. I did this with my first puppy and it worked so well because in the morning, obviously, if they have not eaten yet, this is her breakfast. She is going to be super motivated to want to work for me, learn for me, do the things that I'm asking her to do because she is going to want her food. So as puppies, I highly, highly, highly recommend taking advantage of all meal times and hand feed so that way you can train. Like that was the easiest way for me to teach my first puppy and now my second puppy all of their tricks. Good girl. I'm not sure on the order of my videos just yet, so I will either have or I already have a video of the differences between like my Aussie and my Golden, especially in the puppy stages, because one of the differences is the things or how quickly they can learn. Freya was definitely so much quicker at learning all of the tricks, but this is what Bela knows so far. Yeah. Touch. Yes. Sit. Yes. Lay down. Yes. Sit. Yes. Okay, paw. Thank you. Touch. Sit. Yes. Okay, lay down. Yes. Good girl. Yes. Sit. Yes. Paw. Thank you. Good paw. Lay down. Yes. Spin. Yes. Good girl. Spin. Yes. Good girl. Paw. Uh uh. Thank you. Yes. Good girl. Gotta let them think it out, huh? It's your eye just thinking. Touch. Yes. Sit. Touch. Yes. Sit. Yes. Good girl. Whenever you're training your doggos, only say your command once. And do not repeat yourself. Let them think through it, or you can help them get there either with hand signals if you've taught them that, or by luring them into the correct position, but don't say it more than once. But speaking of hand signals, she does know all of her tricks also with hand signals.
Yes, so good. Yeah, good girl. So good. You did so good. Yes, good girl. And that was all of her breakfast. So we used about half of it on the walk and then half of it with training. And we also killed an hour. Again, this is just our typical day in the life. So this is how we spend our mornings. We wake up at eight, we go on a walk for 30 minutes. We use half of her breakfast in a treat pouch. And then we come home and we train with the other half until about nine. And then for a half hour after she's eaten, I will usually dump out this entire bin right here, which is full of toys. Let her entertain herself. I will play with her one-on-one. -on -one. Basically just let her, you know, do her thing for a little bit. In between that, I'll bring Freya out so they can get some play time. I really want to make sure that they also get solo time and they're not just together all the time because I also don't want to create a codependency for those two or have like a separation anxiety from each other. So for now, it's play time. Excuse me, you leave my coffee alone. You leave it alone, you can't have it. We're watching dad vacuum from afar because we don't want her scared of it. Freya tries to like fight the vacuum. So we'll see how she ends up. <laughs> but she's looking a little sleepy. Typically I bring Freya out, like I said, to play for a little bit. But we spent the last hour playing together and watching dad clean. Yeah, they're so exhausted, huh? So we're gonna take her potty one more time and then she's gonna go down for a two hour nap. Puppies sleep a lot. And so the schedule that has been working for us, the same schedule that I used for Freya, is that she's up for two hours, and then we take a nap for two hours, yeah. You ready for a nap? Come in. Go to your crate. Yes, good girl. You have a good nap. Sit. Break. Good morning. Oh my goodness, right to the chair. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Sissy wants to say hello. Yeah, Sissy's awake. Oh, 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 oh. You trying to get my camera wet? Oh my god, it's out. No. Bella went poo poo and pee pee again. Hey, out. Good girl. Let's get your toys out. Yeah. She just crawled on the couch to chew her bone. Oh my goodness. Wow, such a good girl. Our like breaks, basically when she's down for naps, look different every day and for different sections depending on what we need to get done that day. So today I just worked on like content and whatnot, some admin stuff on my computer, obviously showered and got dressed. But other times we go to like work out or we go do something or make a big breakfast or go take a nap honestly sometimes. <laughs> but today was filled with work and now she's awake again. And she has a ball and she'll be up again for the next two hours. Good girl. Oh, you're not gonna bring it back. Okay. <laughs> we were joking earlier that she's obviously a golden retriever, but all she wants to retrieve are things that she shouldn't retrieve and not like balls and toys and stuff. We will learn one day. But she's been so good hopping on the couch and playing with her toys instead of chewing up the couch or chewing up remotes and stuff like that. We do keep the remote up because she has tried to like mouth it one or two times. So we're just removing access to it altogether. And she'll bring up little bones up here to chew on. Her second time awake is typically when we do what I used to do with Freya every single day as well, was the activity of the day or essentially her like socialization activity. I try to take her out and about into the world every day for like an hour or two into either something like new or something that she's never like experienced before, whether it's to go like stand next to a busy street or go walk by a dog park or go to the pet store or something like that. It could be things that she has done before, so it doesn't have to be new every single time, but it's just meant to socialize her with the world and the things that she's going to encounter once she's like big and a normal dog kind of thing. But before we do that, we let her of course hang out to play since she didn't get to play with Sissy earlier. We'll probably bring Freya out in a little bit, let them play for like 10 or 15 minutes. And especially while Cohen and I are home together, 
we share the duties of puppyhood together which has been a huge game changer and has helped me stay sane through the second puppy phase and i'm typically a morning person so when i am home and if i'm not at work in the mornings i always get morning duty with the puppy and then we usually switch on and off like throughout the days whoever needs to get work done but like right now we're both starving so i'm gonna start lunch while she gets to chew and hang out and dad can watch her but at this point she's getting pretty good at just being a dog and hanging out we obviously don't give her like free roam of the house yet we still have the baby gate up she's not like running rampant because there are things that she can get into but the living room and kitchen are pretty puppy proof all the time is training time because while i'm cooking she really wants in here but we'll be working on her staying out of the kitchen and she's doing so good right now but uh-uh <laughs> spoke too soon yeah good girl let me introduce you to one of our favorite games to play while we were eating because of course she's up she needs to be supervised what do we do one we get her bed and we put it far away from us but close enough for us to see and yep she already knows what's about to happen good girl this is basically like a bed i guess training exercise or a place training exercise or even just teaching her not to like beg at our feet kind of thing. Good girl, yeah, you laying in your bed. Good girl. So she can still like hang out in the same room as us, but trying to teach her like boundaries and like not to be all over us while we're trying to eat kind of thing. And then what I do is I take this little thing that we save for her. And we're gonna fill it with some food. Not a lot, just a little bit. And essentially we'll sit here and eat have these treats and she'll have to sit there and whenever she is there and she's doing what she's supposed to do we will throw her a little treato good girl i will also give her some toys and stuff because she is more than welcome to entertain herself over there she just can't be over here Inside this treat container, we keep a bag of from Crunchios, and this is what we pull from. When it's time to go to the crate, huh? Go to your crate. Uh uh. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. One thing that I do sometimes whenever she's like panting and needs water, but I don't want her to like gulp down water because then she'll have to pee, is just get her little ice cube. And she can eat that in her crate <laughs> and play with it for a while. Good night. Oh my goodness. All the dog. Oh, good morning. Bella's awake from her nap. Good morning. Are you go potty? Yeah. Time to go potty. Oh my goodness. I know. Code and I just got back from the gym because this go around because this go around we decided to work out and get more work done in general while Bela was down for her nap but now she's up and we're about to go on another little walk so we got the tree pouch again i don't usually bring a lot on a second walk for her and it depends on if it's the morning or the night walk or whatever but i'll show you when we get back but one of the meals usually breakfast or dinner will be in a slow feeder for Bela, and it's like frozen so really good mental enrichment good licking keeps her busy for a while and we didn't do that this morning so we're gonna do that tonight which means i'm not gonna take like her whole dinner portion with us just a little bit just in case i need to like reinforce some good behaviors all three of them have frozen dinners tonight mm -hmm. so perfect they'll all enjoy their little lick mats essentially of their dinners we usually trade off and i know that this is like freya and bela's channel only because freya and bela are both mine but bela is also cohen's but 
We also have Naya in the house. This is a three dog household, but just a two dog channel. But Naya is coming on the walk today with Bela. We usually trade on and off with Freya and Naya as well, because obviously there's only two of us. But Bela always comes right now because she's little. Freya did walks twice a day as well when she was this age, but we switch on and off between who's gonna go in the morning versus at night. So that way all the doggos get at least one walk a day, but Bela gets two. Mm -mm. I always waited for Freya and I do this with Bela. There we go. Wait for eye contact. She's trying to chase after Naya who went out before her. I know. Goodness, there we go. Hey, good girl. Okay. Good pee pee. Yeah, good girl. Alrighty, girlies, let's go on our walk. Come in. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Again, I'm not asking for anything, just hoping for some good decisions, huh? Yeah, good girl. Sit. Oh, there we go, good girl. Touch. Yes, sit. Good girl. Yeah, we'll sit before we cross the street. Okay, good girl. Good girl. Can you come to your bed? Good girl. You stay. We're still working on this one, so she probably won't. Ah! Uh -uh. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, that was so good. Break. Good girl. Now it's your turn. Go to your bed. Good girl. We got Naya's and Freya's. And while Bela eats her dinner, which will take her about an hour, it allows us time to make dinner and eat and chill out for a hot second before she's like up again. And tonight we're making rice and andouille. Both doggos are done eating, so now it's time for their late night WWE Smackdown. <laughs> it is about eight now, and then Bela goes up at 9 p.m. for bed. And after she ate, she entertained herself for a little bit, pulled this down from up there, so we need to find a better home for that. Are you hopping up on the couch, say, oh my goodness, I just wanna be comfy. Is there a bone out here? No, you can chew on this. Oh, this one's yours. She has her antler on top of this. All right, good girl. I'm just gonna go to with dad, huh? Yeah. Puppy is down for the night. Alexa, play Pandora. The Pussycat Dolls Radio from Pandora. Oh, so loud. We were jamming out while we were cooking dinner, but we do always leave music on for her at night and really all the time whenever we're not here and she's in her crate, mainly to drown out any kind of like apartment noise or the other dogs moving around or whatever. We want her to just be like settled, kind of used to the noise, if that makes sense. So she used to listen to the Pussycat Dolls radio from Pandora every single night, listening to some bops. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's little pup date and getting to see more of Bela. I know it's been a long time coming and I've said this in every video beforehand, but I have vlogged a bunch or filmed a bunch from her being an itty bitty tiny puppy and teaching her a lot of her tricks and stuff. But I will be posting a bunch of videos of the training. So you're getting to see her now, but then you'll also go back and see her like when she's teeny tiny. So in general, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope it was helpful. And if you don't want to miss out on future Bela pup dates, make sure you subscribe down below so that way you guys don't miss out on those or other dog vlogs, dog hauls, training videos, whatever. All of it is coming, I promise. But it is 9.40 now, so that means it is time for us to go to bed and for me to close today's vlog. But I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you guys next week. Bye.